Hello and welcome to our third video roundup of highlights from Mobile World Congress. Now continuing the trend of Mini Me handsets, it's the T-Mobile Pulse Mini catering to the budget Android market. Retailing for $99.99 on pay-as-you-go tariffs, it's basically a shrunken down version of the T-Mobile Pulse, packing a 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen and a 3.2 megapixel camera. So it's hardly the most exciting phone and it's a little bit on the chunky side as well, but you'll be hard pressed to find Android 2.1 anywhere else on such a tight budget. Moving on from little to large, it's Toshiba. And intent on undoing all the wrongs of the TGO1, it's announced its successor, the TGO2. It still packs that slim design and that sizable 4.1 inch screen, only this time it comes with added zing by being capacitive, running a Winmo 6.5 UI, all on its 1 GHz Snapdragon processor. And it's also replaced the TGO1's UI with a much slicker 3D interface. But that's not all from Toshiba, it also announced the K01, with the same screen estate as the TGO2, but just of OLED quality. Now it's a dead ringer for the TGO2, but offers the best of both worlds by packing a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. Now what's interesting about both handsets is they both match the Windows Phone hardware spec, so we could very well be seeing them later on in the year packing Windows' brand spanking new operating system. With the vast majority launching Android 2.1 handsets, Motorola has done a complete 180 in the wrong direction by launching the Quench, running Android 1.5, so it's pretty outdated compared to other handsets. It's Motorola's eighth Android handset, which comes with its social networking tool Moto Blur, as well as flashlight support and a touchpad in addition to its touchscreen. Now, Motorola's not the only one knocking them out. Clearly not content with launching three handsets, HTC announced the HTC Smart, a budget smartphone in association with O2. It aims to deliver the smartphone functionality, but without the cost and complexity of other handsets. So there's no surprise, there's no Wi-Fi or onboard memory. It packs a 3.2 megapixel camera and runs on a 300 megahertz processor. Still, it runs Android and packs the Sense UI, just like its higher-end siblings. There's still more handsets, so make sure you check out our fourth and final video of highlights from Mobile World Congress.